Ari and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. And I'd love it if you stayed a while and hit that subscribe button. So in today's video, I'm doing another upcycle project using old scraps of fabric and supplies that I have here right in my home to make a garbage bag or a portable garbage can, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. It's extremely useful for me. I use my car for work and throughout the day I accumulate lots of paper trash, wrappers, things like that. So I'm going to show you how to make a cleanable, wipeable, removable, detachable garbage can for your car. You can attach it to your Prindle stick. That sounds delicious. Oh, sorry. Or the back of your headrest on your chair. It's going to be really cute very minimalistic and very, very cool. If you're interested, keep on watching. So I had this Bloomingdale's tote bag. It was very large, but I had taken the handles off to do another project and it was a shelf for my bathroom. If you'd like to see that project, let me know in the comments down below. It's really cute and it's still in my bathroom. And this fabric was very janky. It was very oddly shaped. The seams were super tight. You can see here I'm trying to use a seam ripper and it's just not really working. So I ended up just trimming those edges to be nice and straight. With the oddly shaped fabric that I had left over, I decided on a rectangular shape for this garbage bag bin thing <laughs> for my car and I'm just hacking away using some kitchen shears because this was a plasticky lined fabric that I didn't want to use my fabric shears for because it can actually damage your shears if you use them for anything other than regular fabric. I cut four of these rectangles and that is going to be the start of the sides of the bag. So all I'm doing is sewing them together one by one, adding a rectangle, right sides together, and I'm using a simple back stitch. So once they're all sewed together, you have this nice panel of four rectangle, rectangular shapes sewed together. And I just wanted the sides to be really seamless, really straight. And I'm just trimming it back. And I knew that I needed a little bit of extra fabric to do this process. So it was pretty forgiving. This part is going to be the bottom of the bag. All I do is use a back stitch again, right sides together, and I make a seam on all four sides. I'm measuring out five inches by five inches, a square that's going to be the lid. In sewing, we call this a pattern, but this is just a regular sheet of paper, and it worked for me. Since these were really raw edges, I needed to secure them, make sure that this bag will last and look nice and presentable. I decided on using this old fabric from a pillowcase that I had left over from another project that I had actually used part of it for. So this type of trimming or binding is what's commonly used for quilting and it's just basically to cover up any raw edges and you could see I tried to use that lighter method but this fabric didn't have enough plastic in it and it just wasn't working out. So I ended up having to do that same trimming on the bottom portion of the bag here. How I do that is I sew together both pieces of fabric with the edges 
lined up nice and neatly. And then I fold over that fabric twice and make a nice simple stitch on top. So it comes out looking like this. You can see it's just so clean. The stitches are nice and straight. There's no raw edges exposed. And it looks nice and clean, just clean and perfect. This fabric ended up being perfect. It even stands up on its own. It's nice and stiff and it's cleanable. I'm just attaching that lid to the garbage bag with a regular schmegler, straight stitch, nothing crazy. Once it's attached, I decided that the best way to close this lid is going to be using a magnet. I decided on a magnet as opposed to Velcro because Velcro is just, it's almost like too strong of a closure. So the magnet ended up working perfectly. And while I'm driving, if I have to throw something out, it's gonna be super easy. Look how cute that is. This bow <laughs> was part of a Christmas gift that Eric and I had. Um, received and I use this actually as my hanger or my hanging mechanism so this part is going to be what's going to attach to either my gear on my car is it called a gear or gear stick whatever the thing the thing that has the prindle <laughs> or it can attach to the back of your headrest how cute so cute, a nice pop of red, and we are done. <laughs> Good thing there wasn't real trash in there. But how cute did this turn out? This is perfect for my truck. It's so girly but simple at the same time. And the best part of all is I made it, and it didn't cost me a single dime. These were supplies that I had in my home and Another really cool feature is that this is completely wipeable and cleanable. I hope you love this project and I hope it inspired you to make something similar for your home or car. And if you like this video, hit that like button, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. And I thank you so much for stopping by. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.